is the SSR configuration template demo. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a router, which I'll refer to as the golden router config, and use that as the base for building out additional router configurations. So the theory here is you've got a router config that is the golden config, which pretty much has, let's say, 95% of the configuration you need. But there's like 5% that needs to be variable. Our configuration templates makes it real easy to do that. So let's get started. So the first step is to go into configuration and build a template. So if I come into the template wizard, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create a template. And I'll call this branch router template. Description will be config template for branch routers. I click save and I have that category of templates there. So now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and copy the golden router config into this template. So I'll go back into configuration and I'll pick the router that is, that is what I consider the golden router config, which is SSR513 test. So this router here has an existing config, which I'm going to leverage to build templates from. So what I'll do is I'll click the copy the template for this router and copy it into the template. So when I copy it, it appears in the template. There it is. And so now, 90 plus percent of this config is going to be the same across all branch routers based on this template. But there's a small percentage which is going to be variable. So what you do here is you click on the config items that will be considered variable. So here, for example, I will say name will be variable of the router. The GPS location coordinates will be variable. And the name of the node, let's say that. Okay, so I've got three variables here and the rest will be consistent. So now what I'm going to do is, based on this template, I'm going to create an instance. And so if you look, it's going to ask for the instance name. So I'm going to just say Orlando branch. And if you look, everything I clicked here to be templated is a variable here. So I have to come in here and actually put in unique variables or values. So here I'll put in Orlando SSR. Location coordinates, I don't have the exact coordinates, but I'm going to put something that's valid. And the node name, I'm going to say node 1. And I save it. So that's one instance. So suppose you want to do multiple instances. So I'm going to add a second one. I'm going to call this Hawaii branch, SSR Hawaii, location coordinates, once again, I'm just going to pick some values, and I'm going to call this node 1, okay, and I'll click save. So now what I've done is I've, cr I've created two instances of new routers based on this templated config. So now to bring this all to life, I just click the ones I want to instantiate. Then I click the generate config for selected. Click proceed. It generates the config, it's finished. So if I go to configuration page, if you look, I've got two new routers, SSR Orlando, SSR Hawaii. So if I dig in, you will see I've got these routers config with an internet and LAN interface for that router. If I go to the other router, SSR Hawaii, you will see it's also got its config. So that's the power of configuration templates. Anything in a config can be templated and be used and reused to make it in configuration and deployment a whole lot easier.